I've uh, made the spaghetti for you. Sweet. So, are you excited about the the Oscars coming up? Not particularly. Why? What's that? Well, I just you know it's I'm not huge on really any of the movies. I mean, I, I well, like some of them. And yeah, well, you know what? Avatar was a true piece of crap. I mean, seriously, it a story. It's like totally ripped off the Daniel World, Focalized, all these other movies, you know? I mean, James Cameron was so concerned about the technical side of it, he wasn't concerned about the story. If he had just taken, like, two extra minutes to look over the script before the actors read those cheesy lines, it would have been a better movie. I mean, it would have made probably $850 trillion compared to $800 trillion. Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, as far as the Oscars go, that guy, um, Christoph Waltz, that was in, um, Inglorious Bastards, he was very good. Who's Christoph Waltz? He did the, uh, the, um, the Jew Hunter in, in Inglorious Bastards. Oh, I loved him. He, I mean, he was good. I yeah, liked yeah. him a lot. He would have been great in Avatar. It would have made the movie a lot better. He's no Michael Ironside, but he's pretty good. Why wasn't Michael Ironside in Avatar? Why wasn't he in any movie this Michael year? Ironside, to me, is probably the greatest actor of any generation. It's, yeah, no, it's him. Well, a little last thought of Super with him. As Lieutenant Ratchak. Ratchak's Roughnecks. Oh, love Starship Troopers, man. He was in a Total Recall. His arms got slashed off by the elevator. It was amazing. Oh, he was great in that. And he was also in this little known movie called Space Hunter Adventures in Forbidden Zone with Molly Ringwald. He was Overdog. Huh. Yeah, Overdog. And V. Pam Tyler. Remember that show? I wanted to do a lot of interesting stuff to her. I've, uh, I've never seen that one. Hmm. Michael Ironside's a world-class actor, and he would have elevated Avatar to the level it should have been. Seriously, the story? There's no story in Avatar. There's no story at all. And it's a total rip-off of, like, 16 other movies. Don't get me freaking started on it, Ben. How can I live with myself when there's a thing called Avatar that exists out there, Ben? How does it even happen? <laughs> You're lucky this spaghetti's good today. This spaghetti has saved everyone's life. I, I liked Avatar. I can't believe you liked Avatar. I can't believe you liked it. You liked it? I thought it was cool. It was, it was pretty cool. Is that where you've been going to on the weekends? You've probably seen it like ten times already, haven't you? I've seen it eight. It's not even like a big deal. Okay. Alright. It's not a very good movie. It's a great movie. It, I, it changed my... It changed my life! You know what? I don't want to hear about Avatar anymore. I'm done with it. I'm not, I'm not even going to watch the Oscars. Mm, no. Woody Harrelson wasn't an avatar either. No, he wasn't no. one of the Navi. There's no way Woody Harrelson's gonna turn out like a blue guy in a movie. He's not yeah, gonna sign up for that, because he's a world-class actor. But Christoph Waltz, he... He could like four languages. Ben.